Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. So apparently we're going to have another lesson. Here he comes, is yeah, he? Yeah, here he comes. Yeah, this is lesson number four and uh, we're out on the west coast again and the wind is blowing and it's bloody freezing, it's horrible. But it's so warm in here in the van because of the uh, sun coming through the windows. I uh, had <laughs> the wind, it's really warm. Yeah. But uh, here, here he is, just arriving. Yeah. It's cold. Very cold. The kiteboard is double-ended, which means it can be used in either direction. It also has small skegs on the bottom to help the control of the board. This 12-metre kite has an inflatable leading edge and inflatable struts that hold the main canopy in place. Please. The power lines and the control lines are attached to the kite with just a simple loop and a knot. Okay. We start off with a little recap on the last lessons, keeping the kite in the 12 o'clock position and moving it from left to right. That's it, get here at 12 o'clock and walk back to him. So walk back this way. Can you see your back uh, half point? Yep. Your body is still too straight, you're just bending all the time on the front. So push your body more in the back and try to walk back. Big back. Now it's my way. Left side, left side, left side. And pulling. And watching your kite on the front part, leading it to the face of the one turn. One turn is here. Come back a little bit. Try to make uh, this movement with, uh, movement with the kite to the, the whole sun. 12 o'clock. Short kick down and come back to the other club. Short ones. You should feel the power which you push you on. And play with the bar too much. I mean, like here is the sweet place. You can make a short turn and slowly come back. But bar is more less in this area. If you stay higher, it's going to be no power. The kite is too much open. Controlling better than before. Easy left. Good practice. Good practice, is there? Easy left.
Western. I was nearly up, well kind of up, uh, but not really up. Certainly I wasn't in control. Carlos just had a big crash and the uh, uh, kite's gone on top of somebody else's which is a bit worrying. But uh, it, uh, in this shallow water it really jars your back if you get tugged over and things like that. Terrible. But um, yeah, not doing too bad I suppose. So that was the end of lesson four? Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt much better today really because um, at least we could stand and go. Well, the, the first to start with, it, 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 it's over a month later, isn't it? So it's a lot warmer. Yes. Uh, and that's a good thing. And um, I think I'm in a little break out, actually. In a way it did, but yeah. in other way it didn't, because we had to recap everything. Yeah, I know. I know we did. So maybe how you forget the details, isn't it? But we both got up. Yes. Which yeah. was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing. It was I good. can only describe it as sort of uh, being towed along a runway by a 747 while trying to stand on a lump of jelly because <laughs> nothing is fixed and everything's moving mm. and and this thing really pulls you like it's something very else. very powerful today he yeah. used a 12 meter kite yeah. and it was very powerful for me yeah. he said that but um yeah so i i thought it was a bit difficult to try to um hold even when it, when i was down i couldn't you know i kept going no. Anyway, we're there. Yes, we're, we're there. going. We're, we're going. going. Yeah, I think uh, what we need now is a lot of practice. Yep. And if anybody got any advice about uh, what equipment to buy or yes. uh, where to go in the UK, yes, please leave your comments below. Yeah. <laughs>